metallic screw in the Kaluga region of Russia. They said the discovery is evidence that a technologically advanced civilization existed on Earth millions of years ago. Some in the UFO community believe that the screw might have been left behind by aliens that visited the Earth millions of years ago. The Russian UFO research group, Cosmopoik, first announced the discovery of the 300-million-year-old screw embedded inside a rock in the 1990s. And since then mainstream scientists have struggled to explain it away as a natural phenomenon. The group conducts expeditions to remote sites on Earth in search for evidence of alien presence or activity, and cryptozoological species, such as Bigfoot or Almas. Cosmopoik researchers found the screw while visiting the Kaluga region of Russia to locate the site of an asteroid impact that occurred in the 1990s. While searching for evidence of the fallen asteroid, the researchers found a rock that appeared to have remains of a metallic screw embedded in it. The alleged screw measured about an inch in length. According to the website Ancient Code, the Cosmopoik group researchers said the screw was composed of metal. Geologists estimated the age of the rock to be about 300 to 320 million years old, older than the existence of dinosaurs. Evidence shows that iron atoms of the screw and the silicon atoms of the rock have in fact spread and fused, suggesting that the screw is by no means a recent addition to the rock. So in other words, it was not a fake. Discovered by YouTube user, Jason Hunter, a possible dead alien may have been found on the Red Planet. In a photo taken by the Mars Curiosity rover, we can see what looks like the remains of some kind of alien being, lying under a large boulder, or as Jason Hunter says, a building. Could the stones and boulders in this area actually be a collapsed building? One that pinned a being right underneath it? It certainly does look like a humanoid type being, with the head here. An arm and hand with fingers here. A leg and foot with toes here. And maybe even some kind of headgear. Ufologists believe this could be a crown or helmet. So is this a decaying dead alien under a collapsed building? Or is Pareidolia playing a factor in this? Nevertheless it is a great find, and another great mystery of Mars. Discovered by YouTube user Cat Martin 2016, footage showing what appears to be a UFO flying over Old Faithful, at Yellowstone National Park, has got ufologists talking. Taken from a National Park Service webcam, this footage not only shows the UFO pass by, but it also catches a mysterious green flash that takes place later. At first glance it could be chalked up to being just your typical meteor crash, but Scott C. Waring of UFO Sightings Daily believes this object came from the ground and traveled upward. He went on to explain saying, The bottom of the green flash has a totally flat surface, yet the top has a mushroom cloud-like explosion. 
For there to be a flat line on the bottom, the object would have to have ended or begun at that point. Since this flat green line is not on the ground, but in the sky, it changes the direction of the object to be moving upward. If we look at the footage again, the object does not appear to be descending at all, but almost parallel to the ground. Was this a UFO crash? Or was it truly just a meteor? This story has been around quite a bit over the last few years. A story of a photo that was taken by the Opportunity Rover, back in September of 2014, and many in the UFO community believe it shows an actual gun lying on the surface of Mars. The object seen here bears a strong resemblance to a type of handgun, and does not match any other object in its surroundings. It sticks out like a sore thumb. But this was not the first time modern weaponry has been seen in a Mars photo. This photo was taken by the Curiosity rover back in August of 2012, and shows what appears to be a World War II style helmet. It sounds insane but look at it in this side-by-side -side comparison. They are almost identical. Did warfare such as ours also happen on the Red Planet? Fought with similar weapons and protective gear? Are the objects just rocks? Were these pictures even taken on Mars, or were they taken on Earth like some have suggested? With so many stories out there, we may never know. Back in January, this footage taken by a webcam in Mexico, showed what looked like a UFO flying through lava while volcano Colima erupted. Now, YouTuber Street Cap 1 has found another anomaly at the same volcano, just a few weeks later. This time it appears to be a cigar-shaped UFO emerging from the volcano itself. Is this a UFO? Or can lava shoot out, maintaining a perfectly straight line like this? If you watch the previous video it's hard to believe that it could be lava, but who knows. This took place on February 15th, at around 6 a.m., Central Time. Luckily Street Cap snagged this footage when he did, because if you go to webcamsdomexico.com to try to see it, the frame is missing. But that is typical with these websites, as they do not store every picture taken. On the other hand, there is no sign of lava until 4 minutes later, but not in the frames immediately after. So was it a UFO? Anything is possible. But that would be just speculation. In these next photos taken by the Mars rover Curiosity we have two of the most bizarre objects ever seen on the red planet. First there is this floating ball. It doesn't take much to see that this object is hovering in the air. You can see the shadow which indicates that it is at least a few feet from the ground. 
The object is also way too rounded off to be a typical rock or stone. But why is this thing floating? Next we have another Mars photo that has the same type of thing happening. This object is also hovering, only this time it does appear to be a large boulder or stone levitating a few feet off the ground. Is there something in the Mars atmosphere that allows heavy objects to become light as a feather? Is this how large objects were moved back in ancient times to build the pyramids, Stonehenge and other structures? Was the magnetic field different than it is now? Or was gravity a factor in these photos?